there are plenty of reasons you may need to overhaul your website. You may need to test new plugins, switch themes, install major updates, or try out new types of content. Doing these things on your live site without testing could lead to errors like a white screen. In this video, you'll learn the right way to overhaul your WordPress website. You'll learn about creating a staging site, making the changes, and pushing the updated website to your live URL easily. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. A staging site is essentially a clone of your website. It offers an environment where you can experiment and test your website without negatively affecting the live URL shown to visitors. In a staging environment, it doesn't matter whether you have plugin conflicts, theme issues, code conflicts, or other WordPress errors. You can fix such problems and push the changes to your live website with confidence. There are two easy ways to create a staging environment. The first is to use your hosting provider's staging feature. Most hosting providers offer an easy way to set up a staging site from their control panel. For example, Cloudways lets you copy data from the live site to staging with a single button. The second method to create a staging site is with plugins like WP Staging and WP Stagecoach. We'll be demonstrating WP Staging. In your WordPress dashboard, hover over the Plugins tab and click Add New. Then search for WP Staging. Click Install Now. And then activate it. On the next page, click Create a new staging site. Make sure all the database tables in your website files are selected. You can make advanced settings like choosing the credentials and selecting the target directory with the pro version of the plugin. When you're done, click Start Cloning. And wait for a few seconds. The process has finished. Click Open Staging Site and use your primary website's credentials to log in. We can see that a clone of our live website has been created. You can tell the live site from the staging one using the orange bar at the top. The staging site also has an extended URL to distinguish it from the live one. A third slightly complex way of creating a staging site is by making a subdomain. A subdomain is a separate section of your website which uses your main domain name, and a prefix. You can create a subdomain using your cPanel dashboard. You just need to provide the subdomain name and click Create. Next, from your cPanel dashboard, you also need to create a dedicated FTP account for the staging environment. You'll need to provide the following details. Then, we need to upload the live site to the staging area. We can use the all-in-one WP migration plugin from the WordPress repository. Install the plugin on both your live site and the staging site. On your live site's dashboard, hover over the all-in-one WP migration tab and click export. Under the advanced options, you can choose to skip some elements from backing up. But it's advised to include everything. Then click export to, and select the file option. The plugin will create a backup of your live website, which you can download on your computer. Next, we will head over to our staging site, and select the Import option under the All-in-One WP Migration plugin. Click Import From, and select File. Then choose the file from your PC. Finally, click Proceed. The process has finished. Click the Save Permalink Structure option, and save the changes at the bottom. Our staging site is now a perfect clone of our live site. But note that this solution is not ideal for websites that continuously take user input like comments, as any content added between creating a staging site and uploading the changes to the live site will be lost. We can now make and test any changes we want. For the sake of this video, we will update a plugin, change the theme, add a new plugin, and create a new post. If you face any errors, you can refer the forums or contact the plugin or theme developers. 
After solving the issues and testing all changes, you're now ready to push the changes from the staging site to the live site. If you've created a staging site through your hosting providers, you'll have the option to push the changes back to the live site. For example, Cloudways lets you push the changes from the staging site to the Live 1 with a single click. Even the WP Staging and WP Stagecoach plugins have a one-click option to import all changes. However, you'll have to repeat the process in reverse with the all-in-one WP Migration plugin if you use the manual subdomain process to create a staging site. Just like we did before, export the staging site as a file on your PC. Then import it onto your live site. And don't forget to save the permalink structure. We can see that all the changes we did are now on our live site including the updated plugin, changed theme, new plugin, and the recently added post. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.